The secret of the gift of integrity is to be able to hold your own space without reacting to your judgments or self-judgments. Jinky 18. With the shadow of judgment, the city of perfection, and it's the path of integrity. My wisdom story. From a young age, I knew something was wrong with the way women were treated in my society. My father talked down to my mother and she let him. Then she'd fret and complain behind his back. But she never spoke up for herself and encouraged the same sense of inferiority in me. In my teens, I became angry. I saw her life as sad and pathetic and promised myself I'd never be an oppressed woman. So I rejected all things mother. I spoke my mind, broke the rules and took on the world. I became an independent staunch feminist, refusing to be patronized. It got to a point where my father threatened to disown me. My mother tried to calm the waters, but deep down she felt ashamed of her unruly daughter. I left the country and built a new life as an activist and artist. When my parents visited, I'd watch my father consent and my mother make nice. I felt superior to both of them, either rolling my eyes or flying off the handle. I didn't realize just how victimized I felt my mother's victimization until I was invited to a friend's house to meet her parents. Like mine, they came from a traditional background. The father dominated the conversation, the mother nodded and smiled. But somehow, my friend was still able to enjoy them and herself. Her kindness and her acceptance of their limitations brought out the best in them. I began to judge myself for having judged my mother so harshly and not for seeing how similar my father I'd become. Despite all we put her through, my mother kept treating us with respect and gentleness, never losing her temper. For the first time in my life, I saw the strength in her vulnerability. Though she could still benefit from standing up for herself, she had a capacity for compassion and compromise that I desperately needed. Thanks to her, I've devoted my life to helping people understand and work through their childhoods so they can open their hearts and live with integrity. My gift to you. I am here to help you complete your childhood. It takes courage to uncover the wounds from your past. As you release yourself from the messages and modeling that no longer serve you, you will be free to see and receive the gifts from your parents with a soft, compassionate heart. When you are truly in your integrity, it won't be possible to take the judgments of others personally or to identify as a victim of yourself or anyone else. This is not a path to be walked alone, so reach out for support. Allow a friend, therapist, mentor or spiritual counselor to accompany you as you revisit those painful experiences that hardened your heart, made you feel inferior or superior or kept you from expressing yourself freely and connecting deeply. Over time, you will learn to judge not from the mind, but from the heart. To dive deeper into this jinky, you can ask yourself the following questions. Where do you tend to feel inferior or superior to others? Who are you being hard on, even if you don't like to admit it? Where is the self-judgment most alive in your life? Who are you negatively comparing yourself to? In what ways does your self-judgment keep you from owning and honoring your own inner authority? What does integrity mean to you? Name one thing you can do today to feel more in your integrity. And the last one for now. How can perfection be an inspiration in your life rather than a driving force to an unattainable ideal? That's it. Much love and happy contemplating.